Hey, Qsters, it's Zekis, and I'm here to show you all a really interesting and powerful deck revolving around Wonders of Construction. This deck was recently made possible with its new subcat card, Berg Elts. This card reads... When played, if your deck contains 9 or more Wonders of Construction cards, gain plus 20 power per turn for the rest of the game. Combining this with other power per turn cards and history boosters caused this deck to have a heavy burst damage potential all throughout the game with a steady finish. Let's go over the card replacements. Hell and Anubis can be other power per turn cards like Diamonds and Tungsten. A Christmas Carol can be any other high power card. Door to Hell can be replaced with Brain. Marco Polo can be Jade Emperor or Calico Jack. When piloting this deck, you want to go for a round one or two win and then plan your strategy from there. If you win the first round, set up for winning the third and fifth. If you win the second round, try to push that third round win. If you can't, you'll need to cycle big for a round four and an even bigger round five. In order to do this, ensure you have cycled your Testudo and Door to Hell or Brain to activate on round five. All right, Qsters, let's head on over to the arena and see this deck in action. Our opponent looks like they drew door to hell. What this means for us is we need to change our strategy. We want to start our cycle immediately, throwing away cards like Marco Polo, even if we're not going to win. Because he revealed his other science card Eureka, we can only assume that the last remaining science card in his hand is Door to Hell. Luckily, we drew our Door to Hell as well, and knowing we have Marco Polo in our rotation, we want to put them as close together as we can. Because having Door to Hell and Marco Polo together make proccing Marco a lot easier. We drew Testudo and Colossus of Rhodes, so we're going to try to win this turn. In most circumstances, you always want to play your deck buffers as soon as you can and in front of everything else. 
One of the struggles this deck has in the early game is its energy. Occasionally, you may be maxed out and unable to play three cards. You're able to easily miss a card in your rotation with this deck and not have a problem at all winning out. As you see, we drew our Door to Hell and Marco Polo together as planned. Even more so, we drew them on the first turn, ensuring that we're going to win Marco Polo's proc. We're gonna speed this round up and head over to round four. This next round is pretty devastating. You have Colossus, Testudo, and almost a hundred extra power per turn. Being able to dish out almost 1600 power on round four is pretty big. This deck is still in the early stages of development, so there is a lot of room for improvement. This next segment is all about replays. Let's take a look.
thanks everyone so much for watching. I'm Zakis. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. And keep it cute.